Hi, so in M2A210 there are a lot of changes regarding AOVs, so the AOV window is, is slightly different, and one of the things that you will notice is that by just clicking on the lines here in the active AOVs list, it automatically selects them in the attribute editor. So it's a, a small change, but allows to see immediately all the parameters for each AOV without having to go through each of the menus here. So in the built-in ID AOV, you'll see that a lot of uh, parameters are grayed out because they, they are meaningless for this AOV. But for example, with diffuse, which is related to lighting, you have controls on the light groups. So here in my scene, I have two directional lights, one that is red and one that is blue. And I can set a specific night light group name on each of them. And to be original, I call the light groups red and blue. So these are the two light groups existing in, in my scene and I can choose how I'm going to render them in each of these AOVs. So by default, you are rendering the global AOV, meaning that we're seeing the diffuse for all light groups. But you can, for example, enable all light groups. So in addition to the diffuse, you will also have diffuse red with only the red uh, light group and diffuse blue or you can remove the global AOV and in that case you only have diffuse red and diffuse blue or you can uh, choose manually which light groups you want to render so here for example just red or two of them or whatever and in that case here I have diffuse and only diffuse red so you really have full control about which light groups are going to be rendered for each of these uh, lighting AOVs um, that's so that's for the light groups uh, you can also create custom AOVs as before so here the light groups uh, parameters are grayed out and you have these other parameters here so one thing that you can do with a custom AOV is to plug uh, a shader so if I plug for example a checkerboard in this AOV it's going to create a new AOV that renders the output of this shader. So this is a parameter that has been existing in M2A for a long time, but in the past it was working differently. It was actually attaching this AOV shader in all the shading trees, which was a problem if you exported stand-ins because then you needed to have all these AOVs already there. So now it's working differently under the hood and it works even with stand-ins and it, does, it doesn't change the, the, the shading trees. Another thing that you can do with custom AOVs is uh, to use a light path expression. So you are going to choose exactly what this custom AOV is going to uh, render. So for those who don't speak light path expression, uh, you can have this icon here, which gives you a list of existing uh, possible values. So uh, above you have the tokens, each of the individual uh, events that you can combine to create a light path expression and below here you have a lot of examples so all the built-in AOVs are represented here by their corresponding light path expression so for example if I choose the one corresponding to diffuse indirect it's showing this word expression and if I show it here I'm going to have the diffuse indirect contribution so as you can see uh, I've been doing light path expressions light groups assigning shaders and I didn't have to uh, create any specific name in the AOVs which you had to do before you had to create AOVs and put a specific suffix so that you had the desired effect here I'm not touching the AOV names at all I really have the controls that I want here something else that is nice is all well, the cryptomat uh, AOV so uh, if you have the latest version of uh, cryptomat shaders by just assigning, uh, activating the AOV, it's going to automatically create the crypto match shader and you're going to immediately see it uh, without having anything else to do. So I'm creating also the crypto object and I also have now crypto object here. So by just activating the crypto mat AOVs, it's working out of the box uh, because it creates the AOV and it automatically creates an instance of the AOV crypto match shader. 
Um, what else? Yes, uh, talking about AOVs, uh, in the standard surface there is now a new parameter called transmit AOVs. So you use that for transparent objects and that allows you to see the AOVs, for example, diffuse and specular uh, seen behind the transparent objects. That's something that has been requested a lot. And that's about it. Oh yeah, uh, there is a new attribute in the AOV called camera, so you can use it to s uh, set to see your AOV seen from a specific camera, which is not the render one. So this only works in batch, um, but you can use it for custom stereo setup, for example. And well, that's all for uh, for AOVs in M2A210. Thanks.